Hello, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, and today, right, for wave accounting, I'm going to share with you how you can go about adding products and services to your wave account. All right, then, of course, the next question you will ask is why do we want to do that? Because the uh, reason is very simple, you know, because there are items which I, I believe you will be selling them regularly on a day-to-day -day or month-to-month -month basis. There are also purchases that you will be constantly importing from your fixed vendors. So say for example, in this case, if I am selling cakes, then um, since I'm gonna be selling um, uh, maybe chocolate cake, strawberry cakes, mango cake, these are my staples on my menu. So instead of having to enter them individually in the invoice over and over again. Of course, it is better that you systemize things and you actually pre-enter them first. Subsequently, if you need to make small adjustment like to the price and to the description, that can be done individually in the invoices as well. So the same goes for purchases. So by, by having a cake shop, you will always be importing things like sugars, flour, um, and... Uh, uh, and whatnot, you know, like like cake boxes. So these are things that you are also buying them on a consistent basis. So instead of having to uh, re-enter the bills individually over and over again, it is actually better to have them pre-sorted so that every time you can just get yourself or your staff to check the relevant items into the bills and you will be done. So this, the logic behind it is somewhat similar to my previous tutorial. Uh, that is actually on entering regular customers and regular vendors so that you do not have to uh, keep um, creating creating new information every time as and when you require. Okay, so how do how do we go about doing this? It's actually pretty simple. Let me show you. Okay, let me just minimize this. Okay, so for, for the things that you're selling, you will have to go under the sales tab, which is here. All right, and go down to the last option that you will see products and services. So once you click on it, all right, then you will actually have here the list of items that you have created before. So it should be empty if you are a brand new account. So you can actually edit the items here or delete away should you not require them anymore. So let's just go and add a product or service. So let's say if you are say um doing a say accounting service and then from what I know you know some some accounting services have different packages for different tiers you have your maybe you have a bronze package you have a silver package you have a gold package so you can actually do that for 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 this case as well right so the name will be the name of the of the item right so maybe uh let me just say uh let's just say fruit tarts all right and then description um so so it's really up to you to 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 customize the most regularly um sold item so you say maybe you can say box of six assortment assorted taste uh tarts all right something like that okay you can put you can put in even more description it's entirely up to you so the price here uh there are two options if you always vary the price maybe more for service based then you can le actually leave this as zero and then you change them individually when you create an invoice but let's say in this case my fruit tarts i've decided that every box of it i'm selling at 20 dollars so you can just put 20 dollars first and then you can adjust it subsequently so here all right sell this you have to check this means you allow this item to be added to invoices, okay? And then once you check this box, you realize that the income account comes about. What's this income account? Remember when in my very first tutorial, I, I taught you guys how to create your chart of accounts. So under the revenue items for some businesses, you may want to segregate uh, your revenue streams. So let's say uh, maybe you want to know uh, how, many, how much of your sales come through cakes, how much of your sales come through selling uh, bakery products and how much of your sales come from drinks. So some people might choose to break this up that way. So that's where this income account is useful. If not, then of course you can leave everything under the master title, which is sales. That's fine also. Right, so if you see that if I put under the income account, I have cake, I have ice cream and I have sales. That's the default. 
but I don't have fruit tarts. Okay, so so let's just say I want to have this categorization. So if you do not have it, you can go back to um, here, accounting and create from here, or you can use the shortcut button plus. All right, and then you realize that, oh, you can actually create this. Um, so let's just use this. Okay, then let's just see sales product. Okay, you can see which one matches. If it doesn't, if you if you cannot find any one, then of course you can create from the chart of accounts like what I mentioned. Okay, let me just see from here if there's anything that is relevant. Uh, food. Okay. Okay, let's, let's just use this for, for example, or, or you can actually edit the account. You can actually change the name if you want to, but... Um, Okay, I'm not going to do that. Huh? Let me just try again. Search by okay. Yeah, from here you can only choose the preset. Okay, if you want to create a brand new one, then of course you have to go to the chart of accounts and and uh, create one from scratch and then come back here and continue with the product creation. Okay, so let me just let's let's just use this. All right, uh, just for show. Okay, so you can see. So that means going forward, every time you create an invoice and you choose this item fruit touch it will automatically be classified under food and beverage sales so you do not have to uh, do an additional step because sometimes you may forget to categorize the item and then um, and then of course you have to sort it out uh, retrospectively that that will be more work okay then of course you can also there's this option called buy this okay what what does it mean by this uh, buy this means you this item will be available when you create a bill under purchases so why do they have this option here? Because very simple, because you could be a middleman, right? Meaning, um, let's just say you are a, a second-hand handphone dealer. So for a, for a used iPhone 10, you will be selling it at the same time you are buying it. Why we are buying it from from um from someone like a guy a who wants to sell it to you for eight hundred dollars you take it in you refurbish the set and then you sell it off for a profit of uh, nine hundred dollars so in this case if you are buying and selling the same thing by maybe adding value or just like arbitrage then of course you can check this and then they will ask you under which expense account do you want to put it okay but in this case uh we are not reselling fruit tarts i'm creating fruit tarts from basic ingredients so i don't need this so i will uncheck this box okay so just leave it empty sales tax if there's any if there's gst you click gst so automatically when you charge person uh charge your client 20 dollars on the invoice then gst will be applied if you leave it blank then of course there's there will be there won't be any sales tax okay so just save okay and then the item will be created so if anytime you want to delete you can just click on the trash can if if not then you can also always come back here and edit here right by changing the category and all stuff all right so okay so moving on by the very same um action you can also create product and services under purchases so so instead of creating things that you are selling you are creating product and services that you regularly buy from your vendor so you can create Let's just say you buy uh, sugar, all right? Sugar. Okay, so you can say uh, uh, one kg pack. Okay, so that means every one item of sugar that you create inside your bill equals to one kg. So if you buy 10 packs of one kg, then you just multiply them, enter in the 10 quantity accordingly. So the price. Uh, if it fluctuates, as I said, you leave it zero. So let's let's just use zero for for uh, the purpose of this exercise. All right. So you buy this uh, expense account. So you have to ca categorize it under one of the expense account. So you can see if it's again, you know, if 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 there isn't any, then you can create one. So let's just see under expense. Um, well, for raw materials, it's under cost of goods. So that's a. Uh, show others just see okay material cost that's probably the closest again if it doesn't fit any then you can always um um create your own okay okay there's a purchases dash food and beverage okay so so let me just just use this all right 
can always change it if it's not accurate. Okay, so is there any text? So this in this case, if your if the vendor your supplier is a GST registered company, then of course they will charge you GST and you have to pay so you have to account for it. So you have to put GST. Alright. So unless you can um unless you want to disregard um GST then you can you can just enter in the total cost irregardless of GST. Okay, but uh, you want to keep your account separate because come a day if you become GST registered yourself, then you can actually uh, claim back the GST paid uh, from your um, uh, that you have spent, all right, and pass it on. Okay, so zero plus GST. Okay, so now I'm done with this. So let me just show you how does it work. So so let's just go back to sales. Um, okay, let's create an estimate. Okay, instead of an invoice. Okay, so you want to create a create an estimate. Estimate, if you remember my previous video, that is actually uh, what we call a quotation. So it's, it's the same thing. That means you the the client has not agreed to uh, purchase something from you. They're asking you for a quotation. You need to get them to agree to the price first before you can officially invoice them and consider it as part of your revenue or accounts receivable. Okay, so customer, okay, you just have to choose like ABC or XYZ, uh, maybe ABC, okay, this time round. Okay, uh, currency, um, Singapore dollar, you know, then you can put in here if you require. Okay, let's just jump all this. Okay, so now you see, so when you, when, when you put in the product, that's where you realize that the fruit tart has appeared. So I can choose a fruit tart, you realize the description is the one that I've entered before. Now, gets uh, entered get, uh, automatically but at the same time you can always edit you know it's just a simple often you're just, just changing maybe maybe you have decided to sell them 12 instead of 6 so you can actually change okay the prices is also automatically uh, input because previously we have entered in $20 quantity uh, so let's say the guy buys 5 so you just quote them accordingly so it saves you a lot of time and you don't have to actually try to remember um, the individual price for all your a la carte items as your menu grows larger and larger okay and especially if you are selling things in packages um, where like let's say again let me go back to my accounting services um, example sometimes when a client comes along they will do incorporation they will do accounting services they will do nominee director services so it is a bit of a hassle for me to like trying to remember the price of everything if it's all standardized then I, maybe maybe i will create a, a, a standard sales package that means you the client know if they decide to take up this package you get a 15 percent discount off because i've bundled them together so you can create a bundle from this all right so you can add a line okay let's say if you create an estimate and then you forget about the product okay uh, you can also just click here add new product and then it will bring you to the add product page where you can actually create quickly from here as well okay so you there's two ways to go about it okay so this is uh so this is how it is then you can save it okay then it's created and you can then uh go through the same process as how i showed you how to create an invoice or estimate and then send it accordingly all right okay so i'll i'll skip here let me just go to next to the purchaser so when you create bills so now it's on the buying side. Okay, um, you let's just create a new view. So let's say you choose to buy from this vendor, all right, and then the items here, you see, the sugar has appeared because we have created a sugar just now. So it will automatically put under purchases. Okay, of course, if it's not correct, excuse me, uh, you can always adjust. As I said, it's actually very um, customizable. It's not. Uh, cast in stone then description 1 kg pack so if you are buying 20 kg so you just put 20 okay remember that i did not input any price so that's why the price by default is zero this will apply will will be useful for things that always fluctuate in prices so let's say sugar uh, perhaps uh, if you're buying from a wholesaler it kind of depends on uh, supply and demand example so so you uh, fluctuates accordingly so you just maybe in this case it's ten dollar a pack so you just put ten dollars the next time it's eleven dollars you just change accordingly that's fine also and then in this case there's gsd uh from the client so you want to keep the account separate so you put tax right and then you save and then you have created a bill already so that is 
how it is done all right for uh, creating products and services either for products and services that you sell to customers or products and services that you uh, purchase as a, as a business so uh, that's all for this video i hope it has been useful if uh, if you like this video you know please do give us a thumbs up like our channel and follow our channel and check out the entire playlist for the uh, entire tutorial from start to finish for wave accounting tutorial all right so i'll sign off here this is kevin once again um if you have any uh, business queries uh, re with regards to setting up business accounts, uh, of course, specifically with respect to to doing business in Singapore, you can actually contact us. All right, we are a certified uh, corporate secretary, so we provide an entire suite of services uh, from company incorporation to uh, applying for work passes, visas, and also accounting services. So you can actually check out our website. I'll leave it in the link. A link to the description below right and also my contact details are in the description below as well so i'll see you in the next video take care and stay safe bye bye